Hey there, fellow tacticians. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that little notification bell because the more likes and subscriptions I get, the more people see my conservative content, which will make America a better place and angers the dark cyber overlords at YouTube. <laughs> Guys, there's a lot going on in the world. There is so much going on in the world and it, it feels overwhelming. I get it. I mean, right now, right here in the state of Alabama, we've got so much going on. I mean, just looking outside the state in the country, we've got things like race riots going on. The coronavirus is still affecting our lives in several significant ways. Uh, <laughs> there's states legalizing pedophilia. We're having that debate now. And there's a hurricane on the way, to be honest. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to finish this video because if the hurricane, you know, some of that strong wind does wind up hitting from that storm, we could go off the air at any second now. So there is so much going on right now. The end of the world is upon us. The moon has turned to blood. The mountains are melting. And I mean, it really does feel like an apocalypse. But despite all of this, despite everything that is going on, there is hope. And do you know why there's hope? Because it turns out, it was announced earlier today, that Montgomery is getting a Whataburger! Yes! So, it took three years that I've been on this campaign, uh, on this, this great crusade to bring Whataburger and all of its deliciousness to the capital city. It was a hard-fought battle, but I just wanted to say to everybody, you're welcome. Because, obviously, the reason that they made this move, the reason that Whataburger Corporate decided to bring a Whataburger back to Montgomery, I know there was one here beforehand, uh, and I didn't have anything to do with that one, but this one, that, that was all me. And so, I just wanted to tell everybody that you're welcome. Um, I, I hope you appreciate it. This is really my gift to you, Montgomery and the River Region. This is going to be my legacy. Uh, you've got two wishes left, and if anyone needs me, I'll be in the lamp. So... You know, that, that's it, Montgomery. I, I, you know, it's been a good run, and I think my life is pretty much complete. I may just wrap up the show, and, and this will be my last episode, and, uh, you know, I'll see you on the flip side. But no, in all seriousness, the Whataburger announcement is really fantastic news for me. I've been doing this for a while. I actually put a petition out there, which I promoted on the show. <laughs> so this has been something that, you know, it's it's been a long time coming for me. It's It's been a while. And uh, I really do, uh, I'm really looking forward to eating Whataburger, and uh, this is something that is a, a very, very big deal for me. You can check this out. This is the announcement that sort of brought the news to us. This is from the Montgomery Advertiser. You can see here that uh, Montgomery Advertiser, Whataburger is to open a location in the spring. And by the way, this picture that they took is a picture of uh, basically what the store is going to look like. Now, to be completely clear, they have chosen a design for the store. This is what it's going to look like. Now, personally, just personal preference, I kind of like the other design, kind of similar to the one that's in Clanton. That's the one that I like that has kind of the teepee style thing that, that has the arch up in the middle that it almost kind of looks like the Whataburger logo, you know, that you can see right over my shoulder there. It kind of looks like the logo where it has the big orange and it just goes up in the middle. That's a really cool looking building. It's very unique. I like that better. Uh, the, the one that they have there just looks too much like a Starbucks. And I don't care for that. But you know what? I don't freaking care. Because we're going to have Whataburgers here in Montgomery. I don't have to drive to freaking Clanton to be able to get one. So I just ask that the people of Montgomery don't screw this up. So don't let Whataburger go out of business again. We have to be able to keep it here this was a, and if anyone is wondering or doubting that I am the sole reason that Whataburger decided to come to the River Region, I actually have proof. That's right, because that's what we do here at Tactics. We do our research. We don't say anything that cannot be substantiated through other claims. So here it goes. This is a quote from the vice president of real estate at Whataburger. This is actually from that same Montgomery Advertiser uh, article. He says here, quote, we've heard so many Whataburger fans here and are excited to open our newest restaurant in Montgomery in spring 2021. Whataburger Vice President of Real Estate James Turncoat 
uh, man, that's an unfortunate name. It's, it sounds almost like Turncoat. Uh, Turncoat said in a release, We look forward to welcoming new neighbors to the Whataburger family, and we'll share additional information as we get closer to opening. So, no official date, just the spring, and no official location. They say that they're going to release those details later, but you saw that first part of that clip where he says that, uh, I'll show it again, just to reiterate my point. You can see here, he says, we've heard from so many Whataburger fans here. Which is basically just him saying, Caleb Cockwit on Tactics Radio, that's the reason that we're coming here, is because he made such a big deal about it, and he kept nagging us about it, kept tagging us on Twitter, telling us that we've got to come to the River Region, and that's why, that is why we decided we've got to bring a Whataburger to Montgomery. So there you have it, Montgomery. You're welcome. There, I approved it. I mean, I don't see how you could read anything other than that Caleb Cockwood is the reason that we're coming to Montgomery out of that. <laughs> so my only question is, where is it going to be? Selfishly, I'd love for it to be on Atlanta Highway right next to Faulkner University. I think that that would get good traffic for the college students from Faulkner. But I kind of doubt that they're going to go with that because they already had a location on Atlanta Highway, and that one didn't pan out so well. They also tried one in East Chase, and it didn't work out in East Chase. Here's the thing. I think there actually could, a Whataburger could work out in East Chase, personally. It's just my own thoughts on it. I think that a location would totally work out in East Chase. The reason I don't think they're going to go that route is because they've already had one in East Chase, and that, that building was just cursed. That building was like three or four different things in the span of about six or seven years. And so I... It's not, it's not Whataburger that was unpopular in East Chase. It was just that building, just for that, that location was just a bad location inside East Chase. I think that if they put a Whataburger in the right place in East Chase, it would probably do very well. Could be wrong. But if I had to guess, they would either put it on Taylor, so not in East Chase, but somewhere along Taylor, just because that's closer to sort of the Pike Road thing, or because uh, I don't think they're going to put it downtown. I don't think there's really space for it. I don't think a Whataburger would work there. And, you know, frankly, I want to keep it here as long as possible. I don't think they're going to put it on Atlanta Highway either because of the, the reason I just stated. They already tried one on Atlanta Highway, and that one didn't pan out. If I had to guess, it would either be somewhere on Taylor or maybe on uh, the, somewhere near Chantilly. So, you know, in that Chantilly area around where the big Walmart is and the, the movie theater, the Carmike Cinema, maybe out that way, maybe, maybe Zelda Road, you know, where the Moe's and the Publix and everything is over that way, possibly. I kind of doubt Zelda Road. I, I, I just, wait, Zelda Road, Ann Street. I'm thinking Ann Street. Maybe Ann Street, because there's some stuff over there, uh, I could maybe see it working out there. I don't know, though. I, I, th I think that it's definitely, if I had to guess, it's going to be Chantilly. That's where I would put it if I were building one. But, you know, that's just me. Either way, really, really excited about this. And so when they do get here, be sure to support them. By the way, one other just sort of passing note in this. Uh, there is a big, uh, it is going to be a big deal because it's also bringing approximately 125 jobs. And the fact that this is a 24 hour burger place is really good because you're going to be able to get business that there's not a lot of 24 hour options other than like Waffle House in the Montgomery region. So I think it's going to work out fine. Please, please support them when they do come here because I want to keep Whataburger here as long as I'm in the river region as well. <laughs> Studies show that YouTube videos featuring attractive women get far more likes and subscriptions than ones that don't. This is especially true if she's exotic looking. Luckily, in the modern era, there's an easy way to work around this. You see, I identify as a very attractive Hispanic woman, so now you have to like this video and subscribe to my channel, otherwise you're just an evil, heartless Nazi that hates brave, liberated, beautiful Latina women like me. Checkmate, Woke Brigade.